Over the years, search has gotten a lot more complex and the user expectations have gotten much bigger. Now users expect us to have conversational search, search by image, multiple perspectives to a given answer. What are the different types of lighting for the kitchen? According to steelandhome.org, as far as general lighting in a kitchen, there are three main types. As the complexity of the networks in the back end grew, our computational needs grew through the roof. And for inferencing, we've been able to leverage GPUs to provide us a really nice capability in our portfolio and deliver on these user promises and user experiences while not compromising on the latencies for those. As uh, Bing has been evolving, the model is becoming more and more interesting, more and more expensive. We found out that the GPUs are the best fit for these models uh, in terms of cost, performance, and latency. And the overall latency may actually be in the hundreds of milliseconds, but the latency for every single model in that stack has to be really, really small because they all run in sequence. If you ask a question and it takes 10 seconds for the response to come back, no user is going to use it. So we have to work on optimizing every single model for instance, we're able to identify objects within an image from the internet. And what we saw with our latest models using GPUs is a 100x speed up in our ability to detect these objects. So previously, where we would have taken several seconds to detect an object in the image, we're now able to do it in tens of milliseconds. That is the kind of speed up that really makes it possible to ship this product. We actually work hand in hand with the NVIDIA by leveraging the latest the hardware features, uh, like a Tensor RT framework. As Bing gets uh, more complex, more natural, more intuitive, I definitely see uh, more models will benefit from GPU optimization in terms of inferencing. We've seen a lot of really interesting speed up across a number of different models with using GPUs. But right now we're still using GPUs in floating point precision. So when we go to mixed precision, we expect to see further speed ups from that. There are other models we're working on throughout our AI stack that we think may also benefit from using GPUs. So we're excited about the future that GPUs brings to our portfolio.